Nana-chan, darling, you were super lucky this episode. Really lucky. Lucky that the guy who you were after was not that very smart. Lucky the fact that he wanted something so simple. You were extremely lucky. You got off of pure luck. That's all I gotta say about this. It's really all I gotta say. Like, for someone to know who you are, and you still try so hard to put that act, that terrible, terrible preppy act. I mean, the preppy act is so terrible. It feels so forced on Nana. Despite the way she looks, it just doesn't feel right. Maybe it's because you and I know who she really is, so therefore, we can see through it. But even then, it's... I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. So the dude could take pictures, five pictures, every time he sleeps and he sees these premonitions. They always come true. Very interesting. So the one he took that night with Nana Chan before he met up with her was him being strangled by her. But then there's a new one that came on later that night, proving that maybe you really can't change the future. Maybe the future does change, but sometimes it's out of your control. The first picture of him being strangled by Nanachan. Then finally, later on that night, another one was taken that was him being poisoned, and then Mitru and Kiora showing up. Another photo was taken. Like I said, she was lucky. The fact that he didn't go to anyone, especially Kiowa, showing these pictures, which would have been obvious, even showing what's happening. If people knew how great his power was, which they did know, and him proving it to other people, I don't think people would have a hard time not believing him, despite how they feel about this guy. If the guy seemed like a kind of a scumbag, I would admit that. But maybe it's because he was too simple-minded. His desires, wanting a girlfriend, that over him. He was a little smart here and there, resetting his watch, being aware of the time at all times. But Nana was a bit on the mark a little when it came to poisoning him. But not because she changed fate herself, but in fact, fate decided to change itself from his death, which was very interesting. Then of course we have our boy, my best boy, Kiowa, being of course always suspicious and I am so, so, so tired of the hum enemy of humanity excuse. I can't stand it. I, I really can't stand that excuse. It is a terrible excuse, by the way. It really is. Oh, but it looked like he was stabbed or perjured. Well, I heard he can do curses and stuff like that, but no one can see these things ever. They can never see him coming. How do you expect a bunch of kids on an island, a train, and, <laughs> and not be well guarded by at least the military or someone to show them that these enemies are going to attack you and no one's talking about it? I'm the same people. <laughs> It's ridiculous, you know. You kids be more secure and better trained. We all know, you and I both know, it's a hoax. It's, it's fake, a scheme. But still, I would at least make the scheme to be, I don't know, more believable. You know, having the military, there's people there or something, and they just keep hush-hush about it. Because in history, there are a lot of dirty things were covered up in different countries, including our own where they say it was something else, but something else really did happen behind the scenes. They just covered up really well. So how things were working here kind of made it feel like the government's not doing a well-off job to really cover up what's going on. Maybe from the outside, but from the inside, I don't know. Well, that being said, Kyo still suspects Nana, no matter how hard she tries, even when it comes to the photo. If his photos did come true, why did he die instead of Nanachan, you know? He showed a photo even breaking down how well people actually would be attacked. The way she 
had looks more like a suicide. He did it to himself. Remember, forensics teams can tell whether or not someone killed you or it was a suicide. They can do that in the FBI. As a as a true fact. So the fact he was looking at the photo and he can tell that it looks more like they did it to themselves than um someone doing it to Nana was a very well excuse that Kiowa made. I good job Kiowa. But it's still not enough, you know. Why did she take this photo? Because Kiowa wouldn't let his guard down like that if he knew what was happening, which was very interesting. But what happened to the other photo? The photo of the very first victim that Nana pushed off the cliff. Oh, poor little Mitru. She's just so innocent, the little doggy who just wants to help out, who inspires to be someone as fake and fraud as Nana. If only baby girl knew. <laughs> but she got caught. Dang, dang. The first part of it, she started a bad person, man. Nana said, what did she find? She sang in such a cute voice, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That poor little baby lamb got me slaughtered. Uh, and then some bullcrap excuse happens again. <laughs> that's, that's the only way it can happen. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, I am still enjoying the series, despite its, its huge amount of flaws. But I, I enjoy it, man. It's, it's entertaining. I'm not going to lie. It's... I like seeing how Nana somehow outsmarts her way or outlucks her way with these opponents that she will be facing. I can't wait to see who she faces next. <laughs> Seriously, though, it, it, it reminds me a lot of JoJo in a way, where um, <clears throat> each segment you'll deal with an enemy stand with a different kind of ability, and you have to find a way to understand that ability and use it against them at the end of the day. This is the same process, you know? You find your enemy, you find out their power, their ability, their weaknesses, and you use it against them to win the battle. Except for Nana herself don't have a stand. She's just a normal person. The only stands can defeat other stands. <laughs> so anyways, that's all I got for this video. Very intriguing, the things are spicing up here, and I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, so anyway, if you enjoy Talk Nana, and you actually like my content, for those who decide to stay around, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has been Macron on Metamate, signing out.